What up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up UAD Autotune Real-Time Pro X. If you got a gig coming up, you're in the right place. Before I get into that, if you need a template that looks just like this for your live shows, check out my website, links in the description. It directly supports this channel so I can keep making videos like this. The UAD Autotune setup is the most complicated out of any other live show setup. If you want something a little more simple, I recommend checking out the Autotune native plugins and I have a bunch of tutorials about how to set those up already on my channel. But if you're live show demands the lowest possible latency, you're in the right place. The first thing we need to do is open up audio MIDI setup on Mac. I like to just press command spacebar and search for it. This is what audio MIDI setup looks like. You're going to go to window and you're going to click show MIDI studio. So now we're going to double click this red button here called IAC driver. IAC just stands for inter-application connection, so it's just like a virtual MIDI cable that goes between two different programs on your computer. And what I did here is I pressed the plus arrow and named this port UAD MIDI, and make sure this is checked. We want the device to be online. When you're done, hit apply. For the second part in this process, we're going to set up Universal Audio Console. So we have console pulled up, we're going to click settings here. You're going to click on MIDI, and then under device, you're going to set this to IAC driver UAD MIDI that we just created. Next, we're going to load up an instance of Autotune and we're going to click the cog wheel, which is the settings button right here, and you're going to click preferences. Under preferences, we're going to go to the MIDI control. For this tutorial, I'm just going to set up retune speed and key, but you can automate any of these parameters here as your live set requires. For retune speed, I entered the number 20. This is the channel that we're assigning. And for key, I entered 21. And then you're going to hit save. Now for the last step in this process, we're going to set up Ableton Live. In Ableton, I've set up two MIDI tracks. The first is called retune speed and the second is called key. We're also going to need two empty MIDI clips. What you need to do to create a blank MIDI clip is select the region that is the length of your song hold shift, command, and then press M on the keyboard, and it will create a MIDI clip that is completely empty, and I like to rename this, so we'll do retune speed. Next, on your two MIDI tracks, you're gonna have to make sure that the MIDI output is set to IAC driver on both of them. Now, we're gonna double click retune speed, which is the first one that we're gonna program. So once you have the clip view opened of retune speed, you're gonna have to go down here and select MIDI control. And then we're gonna select 20 because that's the port that we assigned to control the retune speed. And then once you have that created, you can take this. And as you can see, whenever I move this line, the retune speed changes. What I recommend doing is for any parts of your set that you're talking that you don't want out of tune, set this low. And then when you want out of tune, you can set this high and you can automate this at any point in your song for different retune speeds. Next, we're gonna do key. So I've done the same thing here. We're gonna hit MIDI control and then assign this to 21. And then for the key, as you can see, when I move this line, it changes the key right here. I have this set to minor. You can set it to whatever you want. You can also change scales. You can automate a bunch of different things depending on what you need for your live set. And then last thing, when you're ready to perform, just uncheck this mute button here. I have it muted for this video, but you're gonna want that unmuted for when you're playing. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful. I hope you have a great show. Check out the link in the description if you wanna get my template. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching, later.